Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to extract tabular data from web pages. And first of all, what is tabular data? Well, tabular data is just any information that you see that's in a table. Tabular is just table, okay? It just stands for table, uh, table information. Here's an example of a table, okay? Uh, I've got album sales. I'm at the music industry web page for uh, Wikipedia, uh, Wikipedia, and I've got album sales and market value um, in the world uh, for music sales in 2012. Um, so let's say that we wanted to put this data into a spreadsheet. I've got a LibreOffice, a blank spreadsheet open right here. How would I do that? Okay, there's a number of different ways to do this. Here's a really easy one, okay? Just cutting and pasting. Whenever you see tabular data on a website, there's a very good possibility that you can just cut and paste this data right into a spreadsheet and it will maintain all your columns and rows correctly. This is how you do it. What I'm going to do, and I mean you can start at the top, I'm going to start at the bottom because I just find it's an easier movement here. I'm going to start here, I'm going to select everything inside here and it's important to select everything. Okay, don't just select you know, just a little bit like that. Select the entire table like like that, okay? So I've selected all that. I can tell everything's been selected. I'm going to go ahead and do Command-C. That's my shortcut for copy because I'm on a Mac. If you were on a PC, it would be Control-C. I'm going to switch over to LibreOffice or, you know, whatever. You know, the spreadsheet program of your of your choice is perfectly fine. And this is important. Don't double-click in the first cell. You just want to click once in the, uh, in let's, I'm starting in A1 here. This is where, this wherever you click is going to be where this cell ends up and everything else is going to populate down. So I want my, my spreadsheet to start, or the table to start right here. And I'm going to go ahead and paste this data in here. Okay, remember I didn't double click, I just clicked once. And if you were paying attention in the previous screencast, I showed you how to paste without formatting. And that's what we're going to do in this case. We're going to paste without formatting because I just want the data. I don't want any bold or links or anything like that. I just want the raw data. That's all we care about in this particular sp uh, spreadsheet. So do you remember the, the shortcut? What's the shortcut for paste without formatting? Uh, you just add a shift. So it's instead of just command V, it is command shift V. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Command shift V. I get a little dialog box saying, hey, what do you want to do here? And I say, yeah, I want unformatted text, please. I'll go ahead and click OK. And then here we get a little preview. And this is fantastic, okay? LibreOffice is saying, oh, I looked at this data and it looks like you're importing a table and it even figured out that everything's separated by tab. If this doesn't look right, you can play around with these various values, but in this case, obviously we don't want comma as a delimiter. We want tabs, that looks really good. Essentially, look at the data in here and see if it makes sense to you, okay? Does it look right? Is that more or less the data you want to import? Looks right to me. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and click OK. Look at that. That was pretty fast, eh? Boom! And there is some data that you can use. And if you if you remember the shortcuts on how to see right here, it looks like United Kingdom is cut off. We can just double click right here and that just automatically um, changes everything. There's a little bit of data cleanup we need to do here. We'll notice that for, for whatever reason, these uh, the, the headers here got shifted over. See, this is, this is a good idea to check this. Let me show you. If I go back to LibreOffice here, I'll see. Let me just squish that down there for a bit to show you. Uh, yeah, synchronization, I've got like millions percent change physical digital. It looks like these all got shifted over by one. That's no problem. I can just select this and I can just paste that over there. Let's just quickly resize those. Okay, good. That looks good. In fact, this right here should just be retail value US dollars in millions. Okay, that looks good. Go ahead and do that. And that means I can get rid of, oh, actually I can just move that down here. And I'm deleting those two. Boom, that was pretty fast. Sorry if that was a bit too quick there, but um, all I did there is just cleaned up the, the data a little bit just so that I could get my header row up here. Okay, these are the column labels and there's all my data. Okay, why would you want this data? Why would you want to actually put this data in a spreadsheet as opposed to 
um, putting it, say, in a Word document or something like that. Well, this is because you can actually do things with this data now, okay? Let's take a look at the, what this data is telling us. This data is telling us that uh, the retail value in U.S. dollars uh, of music sold in the United States was, what was it? Was it $4,481? No, it was, it was 4,481 times a million. So let's say we wanted to convert that. We could always insert a column here and put a little formula. Okay, and if we remember from previous screencasts, we remember how formulas work, right? All we need to do is we want to say this, so that ends up being B2, multiplied by what? By a million. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go, hit enter. What's that? What does that, what does that mean? What does those, those hashtags mean? All that means is that there's not enough room here to display the number, so let's just do that. Okay, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and copy this all the way down and that's really hard to read so let's convert that to currency oh no there we go let's get rid of a couple zeros there we go so we can even hide this if we want to there we go okay this is the type of data manipulation you want to be able to do and, and converting, bringing stuff over and keeping it in a spreadsheet format allows you to do these types of things. You can create formulas, you can do all sorts of things. Um, if you were studying uh, the music industry and you wanted to understand uh, this data, it's nice to have these numbers here because you can actually run calculations and stuff like that. Let's try a couple other examples, shall we? Okay, I'm at the Factor website right here. We've seen this in a previous screencast. This is the Foundation to Assist Canadian Talent on Recordings. And I want to take a look at the recipients list. I want to see who's received factor funding in the last year. Um, and they don't have their current recipients here, but if I go to the old approvals page, I see right here, these are all the approvals are posted. And luckily for us, we see it's posted in tabular format, right? So let's go ahead and search this. Let's actually say we just wanted to see who got uh, a grant for, who was, a, who was awarded funding for a demo and commercially released, uh, the demo and commercially released single program, uh, let's say in January. January 2013, shall we? Let's just search for that. We're just going to search for a short, uh, just a few. Oh, there's actually quite a few who won, who got uh, grants here. Fantastic. Let's copy this over. Okay, so I'm going to copy all of this right here. So see, I've just selected the stuff inside here. Don't go selecting everything else. Just select the data inside the table. We're going to do what's the, sh the keyboard shortcut is Command C. These keyboard shortcuts, super handy to get to know these. When you're doing data transfers, it's going to save you so much time. Let's just switch over to LibreOffice. Why don't I just open up a new sheet over here? I'm going to paste, but what am I going to do? I'm going to do paste without formatting, which means Command Shift V. Okay, or Command Control Shift V if you're on a PC. Go ahead and click OK. Here is a little preview of the data I'm about to paste here. Click OK. Fantastic. And if I want to see all that data, I can just double click here. That resizes everything automatically for us. Look at that. Okay, and uh, we can do all sorts of fun stuff with this. We've actually seen last week we were doing um, we were doing all sorts of neat calculations, and we were using the sum function, the sum if function, to do a bunch of different things on this data. So you can see how this would be really fun uh, to explore this data. Let's do one more while we're at it. Okay, um, I'm using this one. This is actually this is uh, my husband's bio, and you see this is a, his list of credits here. And we'll see this is an example of where tablet tables on a website, they don't always necessarily look like tables, like they don't always have those lines between them. Um, but over time, you will recognize what is tabular data. More or less, if it is in rows like this or columns and rows like this, chances are it's a table. If you really want to get picky about it, you could go take a look at the HTML code and see if you see the tag table, okay? Um, but it's just as fast to just try it out. So why don't we just go ahead and select all of this? Okay, I'm going to copy just what's in the table. I'm not going to copy anything else. I'm going to do Command C to copy everything in here. Let's go back to LibreOffice. Let's open up a new sheet while we're at it. Remember, click once in the upper right hand um, uh, cell in cell A1. Don't double click. Okay, and let's command, let's paste without formatting, which is Command Shift V. And it says, yeah, do you want unformatted text? I sure do. Here is a preview of the information. Let's click OK. 
there we go. We've got all the information here. Really handy if you were working on, you know, say a bio for uh, somebody that you're working with, a, uh, an artist or a, a producer that you're working with. So there we go. Um, great examples of cutting and pasting tabular data from websites to a spreadsheet. This is more handy than you think and, and when you are doing any sort of research you will find yourself doing this an awful lot um, and, uh, and it's pretty fast to do. There's other ways to do this but that's probably the easiest way to do is just cutting and pasting entire tables over. Um, so I hope that that's helpful. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.